All right, guys, what is up? Everybody, guess what time it is? It is time for another little upload on the channel. Getting the deck system all packed up because we are going on the road. We've got another tournament. Hillary has a tournament. So I'm the boat captain, so I'm super excited about that. We're gonna leave first thing in the morning, drive to Lake Seminole, get a day and a half practice. Hillary and Rafe will then fish the tournament on the weekend and hopefully they catch them up. So it's been a long time since I've been to Seminole. We actually have a Bassmasters tournament there. Um, I think in the end of February time frame. So really looking forward to that, guys. But here's what you're gonna be watching. You're gonna be watching another great episode. One of these episodes that we aired on ESPN2 and Discovery Channel. First time it's gonna be on YouTube, so cannot wait for you to see that. But I also wanna share one really cool piece of news and also say a huge shout out to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video, guys. They've sponsored three of these videos. I've seen the Ridge Wallet for a long time. I've, a couple of my buddies have it. McCoy even has it. Well, I've got one now. There it is right there, guys. I've, you saw me in the first couple videos talk about the features and what I love about it. And again, small, compact, stylish. This thing has an RFID inside of it as well, which is gonna protect you from those digital pickpocketers, which is a real big deal right now. I mean, more and more people are getting their identity stuff and stolen and compromised because people are walking around with some kind of high tech stuff. This wallet will protect you from that. Thing comes in lots of different colors, lots of different styles as well. It's a really, really great wallet, but here's the best part about the whole thing. Like seriously, so cool, 40% off. That's right, 40% off. That is, all you have to do is go to www.ridge.com forward slash Scott Martin. Can't get any easier than that, right guys? Check out the wallet, check out the different colors, the different schemes. This one right here is carbon fiber. I love this one right here. It's small. Here's why I like it, okay? It's compact. I can put it in my front pocket. I can put it in my back pocket. The, my traditional wallet is much larger than this. And believe it or not, keeping it in my back pocket all the time, running down the lake, it bothers me and I have to always pull my wallet out, stick it in my rod locker. I leave my wallet in my boat sometimes and I'm like, where's my wallet? It's in my rod locker. You can hold up to 20 credit cards inside, check out the money clip on the back, everything good and sleek. I can keep all the cash I need for the day. You can try it for 99 days. If you don't like the wallet, you send it back, you get your money back, all good. The other thing is lifetime warranty. Anything happens, you call the good folks at Ridge, they will take care of you ASAP and get you all figured out. So guys, be sure to check out this wallet, ridge.com, 40%, ridge.com forward slash Scott Martin, say 40%. And by the way, this thing has like 50,000 five-star reviews, which you know the math on that. 250,000 stars, baby. Let's get into this video. This thing looking pretty, ready for TV. <laughs> you are doing a good job with that thing. Look at it. A little, vinyl, a little vinyl, clean vinyl guard. The way, the way we're going to start the show off, guys. Yeah. We're sitting and getting ready. We are somewhere very special, okay? We are somewhere very, very special. We are here at Benville Outdoors, right here in White Springs, Florida. This place here, Jacob, when I was in college in uh, Gainesville, I used to guide here, which is kind of crazy. And they had just bought the, the property and none of this was built yet, but yeah. they, they just bought the property and I used to guide here. And it was so fun because this place is amazing for fishing. But now since then they built, they've built a lodge, they have a tackle shop right there, they have cabins on the water here behind us. So, I mean, you look at this thing, look at these lakes. Benville Outdoors, they own, a, I don't know, 10,000 acres right here and they're full of fish. And, uh, and let's, let's get the boat in the water and uh, let's go catch something special. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. They have about, uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 lakes, maybe even more on the property here. So I see mats over there, mats over there. It's looking really good. Yes. These lakes are, were created, these are all phosphate uh, mineral pits. And uh, Benville Outdoors has come in and bought all this, all these lakes and they're just, some of these lakes have been here for years and years. And, and they're full of fish. Yeah. And uh, and what's neat about a, a strip pit is that you have lots of extra shoreline to fish. You know, because it's right. not just a square lake that has four four shorelines. Right. Right. There's hundreds of shorelines here. So yeah. it, it's just endless amount of fishing. This looks really good. Yeah. Look at these mats up through here. Oh yeah. All right. Today's challenge is what, Jacob? Well, we have to have a challenge. First off, I need to get a rod in my hand. Yes, you do. You're already starting you to cannot, fish. Oh, it's an alligator. There's an alligator right there. Well, what do you want to do for a challenge? 
Well, I'm thinking biggest fish today, okay? Uh -huh. Biggest fish, but we have to have something like, I, I, would, I would hate to take money from you, you know? Like, I don't want to <laughs> just, just smash money from you. So yeah. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, like three complete boat and truck washes. Now, what do you, what do you want from me if you beat me? Shoot. You want money. I do want money. <laughs> $100 bill. $100 bill. I'll do a that. Crisp one hundo. Crisp one hundo to three car washes. <laughs> Boat and truck, by the way. So you heard Boat it here. And... Yes. Is that worth a hundred? I feel like that's worth more than a hundred. Oh, don't worry. You're not gonna win. Uh-huh. You're not gonna win. That's a fish. There you go. Oh, it's a good one too, man. Nice! Oh, look at that! Oh, he's got you the bush. Oh, you're, in trouble, Don't you're in trouble, Dad. You're in trouble, Dad. Oh, you're in trouble. Woo! Let you handle that one, dude. Look at that yourself. fish. That's a nice one, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Choked it. <laughs> oh, that's look good. at that. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. I tell you, you've been busting your butt. And I'm I'm actually glad that you I got to catch one because it's been yeah. about a week. He's been tearing it up on the editing and all uh -huh. the photography with McCoy on the road. Get to catch a nice fish like that. That's awesome, yeah, man. That's Freaking awesome. Cool. That's so cool. Yeah, here let me unhook him. I know you don't know what you're doing. Oh, chill, <laughs> chill. Give me my fish. Why don't you go catch one? Oh, that's Why don't you good. Go catch one? That's good. Let's keep a couple in the box for a nice photo at the end of the day. I like it. Let's all right, that's cool. You got me down. He's got me by one right now. About a three something. Good fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just can't set the hook like me. That's right. You just can't set the hook that's like me. That's right. Mine was little, that's why. <laughs> like literally. Oh, I'm not going in there to get it, dude. No? It's all right. Pop it. I'll break off your chatterbait. All right, I'll go get it. <laughs> oh, you got it good. Oh, the gig. All right, uh, what the heck, I'm man? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put on the chatterbait. I'm trying to beat you with a flipping stick in my hand. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, little dink, little dink, but it's another one. That's all right. Stick him in the box. We'll hold up for best four. He's not gonna make the cut, but yeah. Stick we'll him in the in box. There. You never know. All right, Jake, you're kicking some tail, my friend. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to put on a little black and blue here in a second. It's going to get ugly. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You think? I think so. You think you can compete? I'm going to swim this jig is what I'm going to do. Black and blue jig right here. A little Guggen jig. A crack and crawl on it right there. Look oh, at yeah. this thing in the water. Look at this thing in the water. Oh. Hey, That's let me juicy. get one of those. No, 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 no. Let me get one of those. Step away, my friend. Step away. <laughs> There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a oh. oh, that's a big one, dude. Look at this one right here. Oh yes. A big one. I'm not winning a challenge with this one right here, my friend. Oh lord. And he's not gonna stick around for a photo. Hey. Not a bad, not a bad first one, huh? Appreciate not a bad this. first fish. Appreciate the support. Yeah. Ooh. Another one? Ooh. Dude. Ooh. Dude, look at that. <laughs> look at that. All right. Oh, that was fast. All right. Here. You've got black and blue and I have white. There must be something going on. You need to make on. a change. Yeah, uh, evidently. You need to make a change. Evidently, or or I've just taught you well, my friend. Maybe something like that. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> that is good. Look at that. It's nice. You got him. <laughs> Look at that. She hurt her kick in my tail. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get him around this tree. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Definitely liking the, the black and blue. For Look at sure. That. It's just really cool throwing, you know, these chatterbaits down these lanes, lanes and yeah. between the timber and stuff and catching these little fish out of there. So I, here's the question. Is it is it the is it the green pumpkin blue saucy swimmer or is it the black and blue chatterbait that's making the difference? I, I, no I don't idea. know. But I'm gonna put one of these on. I am. Good job. Do it. Destroy, getting destroyed by my son, but that's okay. I'm glad that you're catching. <laughs> that was like a one-on-one, -on -one, like, all right, go ahead. You throw, I throw. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens. All right, ready? Yes. He's getting those bites out in the open, which is 
you know, it's an overcast day, so I guess these fish, there's a little bit of grass down there. These fish are laying, the water temperature is, look at this guys, this is, this is important, okay? 50 on the Garmin, 56.67 degrees. That is cold. That is cold, that's really cold for Florida. So, you know, you're sitting and watching this video like, oh, they, they don't look all that, that cold, but it's been a major cold front and it's kind of shut fish down. And when that happens, a, a, a really good way of, of catching fish is on some type of vibrating lure, like a, like a lipless crankbait or a vibrating jig like Jake's throwing. When that water temperature is in the, in the 50s in Florida, that's a, that, that is the deal. Now, that water temperature, which I don't think it's gonna get there today, water temperature gets up around 60, 62, 63. That's when the swim jig will start out producing the chatterbait. So just keep that in mind. That's a little tip for you, uh, especially fishing down here in Florida or Texas. It's kind of the same deal. Vibrating baits under 60 degrees is a good little tip. Jake, look at these fish right here. See them out look, there? Right there, right there, right there. Look, 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 look. They're right there off that point. See them suspended right there? Come on, get it, dude. He's looking at it. You can see him? Yeah, right there. Look, look. Oh, yeah. Get it. He's right there. When I pause it, he's all up. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Is he big? Is he? No, I don't think so. Is he going to beat mine? Oh, look at that. All right. Little trick bait action. Not bad. So, I don't know what to do, whether we keep throwing the jerk bait. It caught a fish, but it's not a big one. I still think the sun comes out, which is actually starting to break through the clouds right now. Literally right now. The fishing could get good, because at 57 degree water temp, these fish are lethargic right now. And I think a lot of them are out here off this shoreline. So we may, that may become a big part of today's deal. But I got one, I finally, like it. finally. Throw them in the box. Saucy Swimmer, right there, 3.8, is a great trailer. Of course, that's what Jacob's using on the back of the vibrating jig, so. Just rig it up like this. You wanna just rig it on straight. Come right out in the middle, right there, it's got a little, little slot. And I'm gonna turn it a little bit and slide it up, boom, there we go. That matches up well. It's a little, you know, you don't have to, I mean, if you had a black and blue trailer, it'd probably work, but you don't have to match it up. Sometimes um, matching it like that, green pumpkin and, and a dark color, pretty good little combination, especially on a swim jig, too. Good one, good one. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at this one, oh, Jake. Dude. This is what you come to Benville for. It's a good oh, one. Oh, dude. That's a nice one. Look at that fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Wow. Look at that. All right. Look at that. That is so pretty. I thought he was a lot bigger than that, but he's a good one. There we go. Oh, There dude. we go. Hey, I'll tell you what happened. What was that? Oh. A, I changed. I see that. B, I got you beat right now. <laughs> yeah. That's a car wash coming. And C, that fish waked up like those two big ones did back there. I think we need to go back around this corner where you had a couple big ones wake up. Yeah. Because that one waked up and then got it. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. Good That's good That's stuff. Awesome. That fish right there. Fish. <laughs> All right. Going in the box. Put him in the box. So again, we're, we're fishing in, in unfavorable conditions. We're still catching fish, which is a great thing, but that grass holds a little heat. You know, it was sunny the last couple days and that grass will hold heat. Uh -huh. And these trees don't. The trees act as cover, but they're not, they're not insulators. And there he is, right there. Ooh. Oh, that's a, good, oh that's, dude. A that's a good one, that's a good one. That's in the bushes right there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's awesome. Look at that. That is cool right there. That's that was an awesome, but it was right too. where we saw that one. That, that one just waved up and that's probably yeah. him. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Look at that fish. <laughs> Good job. That's great. That's great. Hey, um, the cleaning products are in the back of the truck in that bucket with the soap and the mitts. Oh, oh. Okay. You just wait. We still got a lot of time to fish. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
That's a photo worthy fish. We'll put it yeah, in, yeah, in the box. Yeah, for sure. That's a good chunk. Yeah, here's the thing. So these are phosphate pits, and, and these phosphate, the water in the phosphate pits are just really fertile. And what you'll notice in a lot of these phosphate pit bass, they, they're just, they're kind of white colored. They're always very clean. They're thick. They're just, they're just healthy. And uh, they fight hard. I mean, that one right there just absolutely mauled it. That was a cool bite. Been go outdoors, guys. Awesome place. Hey guys, check out this app, Fish Brain. It's really cool. It's a social media app for fishing, but it does much more than just social media. It has detailed maps. You can keep track of the fish you catch. You can see where other people have fished. You can get suggestions on lures. You can keep things private or public, but here's what we've done. We've dropped our location of where we're catching fish today on Lake Okeechobee. So guys, download the app, check it out. You can see exactly where we're catching fish on Lake Okeechobee. I'm seeing some fish out here on the panoptics on the live scope. Like, like look, look at these right here, guys. Bait right here, watch this. See the bait? It's all bait. There's fish. Look at that. Big wave. Oh! <laughs> Got him. Nice. Got him. Nice. Not a big one, but that was the coolest bite ever. Dude, that was that awesome. was awesome right there. I saw him waking up yeah. on it. I just kept rolling that chatterbait through there. Oh, that is so cool. And he just got it. I'm going to catch one out of there, too. <laughs> that is awesome. That's <laughs> so cool. All right. We're figuring out a little pattern. You know, yeah. and here's the deal. Every day is a little different. You know, you, 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 we pull up here today, and it feels good. Like, the air temperature is fine, but it's the water temperature that dictates what these fish are doing. And, you know, we went and flipped and pitched and, and did some things and some swim jigs, and that didn't work. Got one on the, on the jerk bait, but... That vibrating deal, lipless crankbait would probably work real well today. But again, this vibrating jig with that saucy swimmer, that, that is definitely the way to go right now. Um, and, and most of these fish are not around these bushes. They're in the grass. So we're casting in these open lanes in between the trees. And that's just a cool bite. You see them wave up on it and get it. Awesome. Nice. Little guy. He's like orange eyes, dude. Yeah, Look I, know, at him. I saw that. that. I know, isn't that crazy? That was weird looking. Look at his eye, it's all orange. That is so cool. Look at that. He really does yeah. have really orange eyes. That is. That's all I saw when he jumped out of yeah. the water was like this orange yeah. look. Look at that. He choked the crap out of it. <laughs> You've got that cheddar bait bite down, dude. They're liking That's it. That's great. They're really liking it. You having fun? Oh, dude, I'm having a blast. This place is so cool. Uh, it is so cool, you know. And, and and look, at any moment, I mean, they catch 10-pounders out here all the time. I know. And they offer guided trips, guys. So here's what you want to do. If you want to come out here and enjoy Benville Outdoors, they've got lots of lakes here to choose from. Um, and you call them up. You can stay at the lodge. They have guides that will take you out here on the water. And uh, you can enjoy. They've got skeet shooting going on. They've got all kind of activities, just lots of cool things. But again, the best thing is they have tons of lakes. Now we're on a lake today. We may move here in a little bit and go to another one um, and just kind of figure out where the bite's the best. Yeah. You know, lots of different cover from bushes to, to hydrilla, all kind of different things. So oh, yeah. it's a cool spot. Oh, oh dude. There he is. Oh place. my gosh, he's all up in that bush. <laughs> Got him. Look at that. Oh, that's a good fish. Got him. Let's go. Nice one. I think it just about killed him, dude. He <laughs> bit right on the back side of that, back side of that bush. Yeah. Another photo fish. Right on. Oh my God. I don't think he's, <laughs> nah, he, didn't, he does not have me. You got the little wacky worm going. We got in this clear water and it's a totally different deal now. We're back in this little bay, a lot of hydrilla. The trees are gone. Look at him down there. That's so cool. It's a good fish. Hey, buddy. Nice. That's great, dude. A little football. That's there. awesome. Yeah, it's at hard it. to beat uh, uh, this little deal right here. That's a little lunker log. Watermelon rat. That's a nice fat one right He's here. He's real fat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit the gym, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let him go. I survived another one. You get now. that wacky worm going. Listen, we've got about 10 more minutes of fishing and we gotta go. The rain's starting to come in a little bit, starting to sprinkle. So you're still alive. You can get that little wacky uh -huh. worm going. You might get me, maybe. We'll see, we'll see.
Ooh. Got one? Ooh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, dude. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. All right. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh, my. Oh. oh. That is disappointing. <laughs> Did you see that one? That might have been the winner, dude. That was so cool in the clear water, too. You could see him coming up. He literally went, bloop, gone, and swam back down. Oh, oh my goodness. That might have been the $100 fish. I think I still got you, though. I think I still have you. But Jake, Golly. listen, listen, listen. Absolutely love fishing with you today. <laughs> that was a good you time. know, we, we've, <laughs> it was awesome. We, we've, we've had a real busy schedule fishing the Elite Tour. Yep, yep. And he's been busting his butt, him and McCoy, doing all these videos. So guys, I really want you to, if you haven't subscribed to the Scott Martin Challenge on YouTube, be sure to jump over there because you get oh, to yeah. see some of Jacob's shot, McCoy's shots. We're having a ball. But to be able to come out here today at Benville Outdoors and just spend some time with you and just watching that smile when catching those, you kicking my butt today. <laughs> I got you there at the end. On that Chatterbait, yeah. when I finally switched over uh -huh. to your color, you copied me. I did, so you I am going to give you. I'm going to give you credit on that, but we can knock it down to two two truck. Launches. I will do that. That is a fair. Yeah. That's a fair <laughs> deal because I, I followed your lead on the bait choice, so you yeah, and I yeah. only have to wash it twice. And uh, stay tuned. Next week we're going to be on a whole new lake, a whole new challenge. And thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge, guys. We'll see you. All right. I'll tell you, Mom, about you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs>